Well look he here, it is one of them binge compilations. Huzzah ah 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 ah. Okay goodbye. Go forth and dungeon some dragons. Thank you Wulu. Describe going to sleep as shutting down my melting reactor core of a brain. Girl bossing hard AF. My mom, it's not really good to eat past sunset. Me, whose circadian rhythm is aligned with a nearby raccoon. Your rules don't apply here! Reblog this post with your weirdest ancestor's name. I had a great grandfather named Kermit Dickman. Why did you start a competition that you've already won? I mean, I can't top that, Andy, can you? And when a gay man and a lesbian hug, do they say no hetero? 511 notes, and none of them deserved. Daily Quest! Play a funny trick on God! My funny trick is existing! Hate it. My brother said I'm built like an escalator. What does that even mean? You can't get married platonically. Marriage is about love and commitment. Yeah, love for the bit and commitment to the bit. I'ma do it. What's your next evil plan, evil snom? To take an evil nap. An EB. Short girls always want to fight. Y'all like mini batteries overflowing with energy, because y'all bodies are too small to contain it. If only y'all had used it to grow instead! Yeah. <laughs> Please don't anyone show this to my wife. Reblog this and put your school's mascot in the tags. To clarify for all the non-Americans that are confused by this, a mascot is basically your school's fursona. <laughs> Mine was a bulldog. Be mindful of others. Oh, you're right, my mind is full of others. And they're all fictional. I had a rude-ass dream last night. Some disembodied voice said, Hey, you wanna hear a funny joke? I am a fan of jokes, and do what voices tell me in my dream, so I say, yeah, sure. Then my 8 a.m. alarm goes off. Prick! <laughs> Holy shit. My brother started calling our cat Doobie Brother, which he then lengthened to Dubious Brother, and has since morphed into Brother Dubious. Like he's some sort of fucked up little monk. Probably bad RPG ideas. Run Doom on your Game Master. That isn't... I don't think that would work, would it? Well, mm -mm. Andy, come here. Hi, I'm auditioning for Macbeth, and I'll be singing I Just Can't Wait to Be King. Oh my god, what happened here? <laughs> this is an eight-year-old post, why is it getting notes again? You! <laughs> well, it's been a while since I've read some patch notes on the channel. Let's see what some video games and apps have been up to. And if you can guess which ones they are, let me know. And big thank you to r slash the strange log for these contributions. <clears throat> now, we feel that Risu was underperforming, so we let her run you over with a truck while you're on the ground. We also buff the consistency of her nuts. Fixed train honk not being rebindable and setting left mouse button to move forward, making the train always honk. A crash relating to asking someone for a job after setting them on fire. NPCs puking perpetually. Too many design updates, UI improvements, and bug fixes to count. Actually, we could count them, but they were seriously like 20 or 25, so we didn't. Stopped cats from dying of alcohol poisoning after walking over damp tavern floors and cleaning themselves. Reduced effect. Good told the Wasteland good boy that he is indeed a good boy. They're making me release notes for food. This is my only way to communicate with the world. They wanted me to tell you there are heaps of new awesome features, but it's all lies. They simply changed a couple of strings in one of the localizations. I'm crying for help. Save me. Save me, please. Steve. Jason throwing knives at cars no longer causes catastrophic rocket cars. Jason morphing to the car no longer causes catastrophic rocket cars. Catastrophic rocket cars are non-canonical and should be regarded as such. No, it's too late. They cannon. Literally, coming at you like a cannon. Soldiers don't shout, Hooray! Anymore when under shelling. Fix Santa trying to become Skeleton. Let him. Fix in issues where players could respawn into the void, instantly bringing an end to their feeble attempts to survive this activity at master difficulty. Sounds like skill issue. Skeletons are no longer in a celebratory mood when emerging from coffins. Fix being able to eat some buckets. Fix being able to cast Charm Person on yourself. No more self-love. Liam will no longer run away while unconscious. Reduced temperature by three degrees. Who touched the thermostat? Fixed bug where a ranger on Route 7 was so startled by the nuclear Gyarados that they changed gender. 
please let Gyarados say trans rights. Resolved an issue where searching for profanity in the challenge browser would immediately crash the game. No swearing for you, you naughty boy. <clears throat> Hi. Consider this our farewell letter. Yes, we are leaving quite soon. No, we had no idea we'd be found out so fast. Some pesky developer who had too much coffee, or passion in her veins, discovered us late one night, hiding, and resolved us immediately. Hence, we are no longer part of your cred experience. Sadly, this means you will enjoy cred even more. To our incredibly short romance. Bugs and errors. And the last one, and it's a bit of a humdinger. <clears throat> Penises C&D no longer clip through some gith Yankee clothing. What a shame. Gator? <laughs> more like... Pridey sense! My spider sense is tingling. If it's any consolation, as soon as the thought formed, I took psychic damage myself. Ah, good. Big, deadly, terrifying monsters treating their human lovers with an adoring sort of gentleness. It's very personal to me. Yo, my coworker sleeps all day. Should I report them to HR? No, no, no. Let them be. Choose wisely. Only one of them is the real Splinky Blinky. <laughs> all right, all right, I got this, I got this. It's the one on the far left. The entire point of life is to be silly, kind, and really weird, by the way. In at least 42 different really weird ways. Why the flip do people draw Wheatley as the human twink in Portal 2 animations? His design already mastered expression with just one eye and some handles. And you just ruin it by turning him into just, just a guy. Stop it. Clicks on a blog. Minecraft YouTuber do not interact. Sad Edward Bindle dot JPEG. Just learn about history. Appalled. Hmm, garlic bread. What if when vampires eat garlic, they actually just turn back into humans? And asexuals are just vampires who made a choice. Wait, you're in her DMs? <laughs> well, I'm in my jammies. Good night. Nothing beats the feeling of finally checking out a classic piece of media you've heard about thousands of times, and after you're done, you're just like, Damn! They weren't lying. My favorite flavor of info dumping is explaining how to play a game to someone. Oh my god, same, it's the best. Breaking news! Little Nas X to rebrand as Little Nas Twitter. Alright, hold on, hold on. Little Nas X. If you're out there, and in the god-given chance you're watching this video right now, do this. Please, it'll be funny. Hmm, pretty cool how you went on a heroic journey to gain the power needed to defeat me. Unfortunately, I was on a cooler, villainous journey. <laughs> yeah, we caught your boyfriend pondering the orb. Yeah, he was chanting in the forbidden tongue, too. Yeah, sorry. Okay, so people generally have at least a vague idea of what Mother Nature looks like as a character, but consider this! Mother Nature on alien planets. Hold up. That is an amazing idea. Are you okay? No! There are literal fictional bitches in my head, and they're kissing! Andy, make them stop! One, two, summon my ghoul. Three, four, summon some more. Five, six, wizardly tricks. Seven, eight, disintegrate. Nine, ten, I'll do it again. Booby traps? Sure, I would easily fall into a trap if I saw boobs. You know, despite being interviewed individually, all four gave the exact same response. Huh. Ah, oh, I see you're trapped in my gay and stupid maze again. Congratulations, Jamie78, Omega Selena blog. This is officially the funniest post I've ever seen on Tumblr. Andy, bust out the confetti. <laughs> it's over. It's done. We did it. Funniest post alive! Woo! Alright, let's be serious for a second. Basic rules for analyzing fiction. An incomprehensive list jotted down in a hurry. 1. The protagonist isn't always right. 2. The protagonist isn't always good. 3. The protagonist isn't always written to be relatable or likable. 4. The narrator isn't always right. 5. The narrator isn't always good. 6. The narrator isn't always telling the truth. Seven, the narrator isn't always the author. Eight, a protagonist's moral compass, the narrator's moral compass, and the author's moral compass are three entirely different things that only occasionally overlap. Nine, 
Pay attention to what characters do and not just what they say. 10. Pay special attention when what the characters do is at odds with what they say. 11. A lot of the time, the curtains are blue for a reason. If they aren't, you should read better books. And one more. 12. The antagonist isn't always telling the truth. So many times I have seen people apparently just forget that it's possible for fictional characters to be mistaken or lying and say things like, we know this is true because characters said it so here, or worse, the fact is canon because characters said it. The antagonist isn't always telling the truth. The protagonist isn't always telling the truth. The secondary and minor characters aren't always telling the truth. The narrator may be telling the truth, but if the narrator is also a character in the story, then don't count on it. Let me put it to you this way. You know that one person in your life that likes to tell a lot of exaggerated stories and you have to sometimes sit there and wonder if they're true or not? Apply the same rules to a written piece of material because sometimes it could be constructed that way. Cool, cool. All right, moving on to the silly shit. Thinking of going to the convenience store? Anyone want anything? Give me a... Things are about to become a lot less convenient if you don't talk. You're not supposed to drink water. It makes you pee. Listen to your body. It's trying desperately to get rid of it. This is how anti-vaxxers argue. Lamael. I am the problem here. I am fully aware. But I made the decision to inflict me on everyone else. It's the best quote I heard in a long time. I want to live by this. Schrodinger's cat is so last year. Meet Oppenheimer's cat. He is become death. Or is he? Being a fan of a character is sometimes, look how complex he is. He's so intricate and his story is so tragic and he's so much more complicated than people give him credit for. And sometimes it's like, yeah, look at this failure of a person. I want to throw him off a cliff and see what happens. Andy, put up your two characters that meet these qualifications. What an autistic person says. How long is it going to take? What they mean. I want to know whether to activate my short-term waiting mode where I just wait and do nothing else, or activate my long-term waiting mode where I occupy my mind with something else. I fully understand that both are possibilities, and I have no problem whatsoever with either one, but I want more information so I can best adapt to the situation. What neurotypical people here? I am impatient and I demand everything I want happen right now. Please scold me and publicly humiliate me for it. Did, did you get that? I still can't get over how broken my humor is. I need my Google Drive and my Chrome bookmarks bar car. Maybe because you drive a car. Melon Pie, stop! It's the funniest joke I've heard all day. It fucks me up that Tolkien only died in 1973. Dude had this vibe of a Victorian scholar who wrote all his manuscripts by candlelight, but then you look him up and realize he knew what color TV was. What the fuck? He saw the moon landing. Tolkien had personal beef with the Beatles. He actively encouraged Led Zeppelin to write songs based on the Lord of the Rings series and considered it an honor. It's funny because I have that exact same relationship with Pablo Picasso. Like, I keep thinking he's like a 1700s painter. No, not even close. He also died in 1973. Top hats imply the existence of a bottom hat. Cat ears? <laughs> I fucking can't with you guys anymore. I, I gotta I gotta stop here. I just I just can't. Ohio gozaimas gamers. Let's look at some more patch notes, shall we? Fixed a server crash caused by sniper trying to eat his gun. Switching to sniper while heavy is eating a sandwich. Well that one's clearly overwatch. You will not be able to flex that you have a famous singer on your crew if the station you're talking with already knows that. Oh, rips that one friend who likes to name flex. Bots no longer linger in slime or lava for too long. Aw, they just wanted to swim. Emma will no longer become trapped in an execution animation in unusual circumstances. Good for her. Fixed an issue where Axe Boy's costume Edward would abnormally display a shovel in certain parts of the room. Gave Frank a bow tie. Added cinema icon. The bow tie was so good they had to make a movie about it. Fix the problem where platforms could push you under the map. Now, they instantly kill you instead. How realistic. You can now swim and drown. Change terrain generation slightly. Adjusted some difficulty curves slightly harder. Mobs hopefully shouldn't face through objects too much anymore. 
Good, because the goblin poking its head out of the wall, extra terrifying. Players who have previously shared their wisdom may now choose violence. You know, and you just have the one person in your life who keeps asking for advice and then refuses to follow said advice. Fixed issue where we would send out debug notifications to users. You don't have to worry about it anymore because we successfully debugged our debug bug. All arms were previously being displayed in Eastern Standard Time. Apparently there are these things called time zones. Midnight in Montreal is no longer midnight in Paris. Shout out to the British Longitude Act of 1714 for making this possible. Good job, England. Removed stupid 20,000 bookcase achievement. Every book nerd in the room is crying right now. I fixed a fix which was supposed to fix a fix while fixing it. It's fixed. Welcome to Game Dev 101. Be less aggressive with Mega Hunk Fix. Fix the Mega Hunk. Rip Mega Hunk. I have a really distinct feeling this is about the Goose game. Fix an issue that sometimes caused an ink spray animation to play when a player changed into swim form midair. Hmm. This post feels a little... Woomy. <gasps> Redid all the map collision, hopefully fixing all Dire Orb and Peeker exploits, and fixing the uncomfortable ramp walls. Except in the foggy cooldown tunnel where it's expected. Oh, good. The tunnel's completely unaffected. Reduce the chance of the woohoo VO from 10% to 5%. Hey man, he was just having a good time. Seal will now select a random skin every time it teleports to the break room. Three possible skins. I'm imagining an actual seal and probably not what this is about. Please let us know if for some reason the game still doesn't work. <laughs> Me. Everyone's entitled to their opinions. If someone likes a piece of media I don't, more power to them. Someone else. Voices a negative opinion about something I like. Me. <coughs> BRB is go squish my dog's face and tell him he's my sweetest little baby boy. I highly recommend this. It's very therapeutic. Growing up is realizing that oats and grains are indeed sustenance. <laughs> what do you mean? Now we get into the truly horrifying part of the book. The lawyers. Oh, God, no. Gordon Freeman should be real, but I think Valve is too scared to make it happen. <laughs> Wimps. I've given it a lot of thoughts, and honestly, no more thinking from now on. I agree. Andy, just put up a gif of your favorite character from Baldur's Gate 3. There we go. That's what everyone's thinking about now. An app where you record a DVD logo or other logo bouncing for like five seconds, and then an AI calculates when it'll hit the corner. See that right there? That's a good use of AI. I'm so sad. I have to find a different caffeine juice wakey water because coffee sends my milk bags to the abyss. Are you... Are you making a joke about coffee not being able to calm your tits? Is that, is that what we're doing here? Is that what we're doing right now? Gay women are allowed to do whatever. She blew up a planet. Okay, and your homophobia is showing. Lesbians can't blow up the planet, that's evil. No matter their sexual orientation. No, no, it's fine. Another gray post sent directly from God. The Jedi accountant. I see Qui-Gon purchased one, uh, boy on Tatooine. Wait, that can't be right. Excuse you. He won him in a bet. A bet. On blood sports, the child was participating in to, to help him out. It's totally normal. Oh my god, George Lucas wrote this. J.K. Simmons playing J. Jonah Jameson in every timeline has to be one of the funniest running gags I've seen in a movie. Anyone can be Spider-Man, but there can only be one J. Jonah Jameson. I am waiting for the day Matt Pat makes a film theory about J. Jonah Jameson being like the central hub for every Spider-Man to cross in. Tell me you wouldn't watch that. Why would you even drop acid? People are gonna slip on it and hurt themselves. Only drop acid if you can neutralize it by dropping the base. I, I finally understand dubstep. Friendly reminder that he. He, he, he what? He, was I not clear? Look at him. A little girl who grows up thinking all doors are automatic, but actually she's haunted by a really polite ghost. 
Ah, so chivalry is dead. You win best response on this post. Congratulations. You get one single confetti. This guy can't even read. What is he doing? Teaching him to read. How else will he learn? Just don't try to teach crabs how to read. That's forbidden knowledge. Everyone drink water right now and reblog to keep the hydration gang chain going. Fucking make me. All right. Andy, release the floodgate. Hey, yo, hey, Tumblr. W what's tumbling? That that's a thing we say, right? But so my OCs through the most gut-wrenching trauma ever experienced by man. <laughs> Lovingly. <laughs> Why do I do this? My buddy lives in China, so when the sun is setting for him, it's rising for me. So naturally, I sent him this. God says it's my turn with the sun. You should be the bigger person. Absolutely not! I'm cursing his entire bloodline. I've inquired as to why SNES titles aren't available for the 3DS, and Nintendo only sent me this image in response. Ow. Wonder what the origin of the sitcom episode B-plot is. Probably the Odyssey. Oh man, I love when they do that. Like that episode of Seinfeld with George Costanza running over a bunch of pigeons. Totally happened to Homer in Odyssey. Absolutely ripped from it. The clover has finally grown enough for her to munch on again. Absolute. Decadence. Imagine a kindly giant of unknown species and origins just picking you up and carefully placing you in a pile of chicken nuggets. He'd be my best friend forever. Writing prompt. A cruel prank by your bullies leaves you separated from the rest of your class. Instead of finding your way back, you decide to go missing and let the consequences catch up to him. Hey, um, I'm pretty sure that's happened. Didn't go well. Oh, being on Tumblr is just waiting for a friend to wake up, huh? Yep. One time I dreamt I was angry that everyone drew Wheatley from Portal as a solid blue twink. I then went to sleep, and when I woke up, the nearby town was on fire. I filmed the squirrel. See, boys and girls and nons, that is why you don't draw Wheatley as a twink. And if you do it one more time, Annie's gonna get the bat. Do you have any acting experience? I acted like I was straight for 18 years. <laughs> that was good. Turn the other cheek. <laughs> Wrong. Heavy artillery bombardment. Water. Earth. Fire. Air. Finally, California has become the avatar of natural disasters. <laughs> Why do you guys write this? Things I hate in video games. Looking for the path that goes up the mountain. Spitefully just walks against the mountain and continues to do so until I'm glitching into it so hard that the game crashes. Things I also hate. Scaling the fucking mountain for an hour only to see the path was right fucking beside you the entire time when you reach the top. Skyrim. I swear to God, the girl next to me in the bus had her air buds so loud I could hear the Megalovania kazoo cover that she was oh so stoically listening to. She's just trying to get in the zone, man. Though I was born a male, I identify as female. Although, according to the chip bag, I am an entire fucking party, so there's that. Don't you just hate it when your brain gives you a bunch of really great ideas for a new story, but they're all late-end game ideas with the necessity of a lot of story behind them for full effect? But when you try to come up with point A to point B, your brain just kind of goes... That was <laughs> Minecraft is so much fun. This post is about lesbian sex.